For many video games today, playing with others comes with many benefits. Helping hand, easier content, and probably the most important one, playing with others in a different, interesting world. But that also comes with many cons. Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell as we sit in a circle and talk about why community is important in Ashes of Creation. Where the dead sick and you need to shut your mouth, boy, because I want to play alone. Relax, I'm not ignorant to why most people want to play alone when you think of the trolling, toxicity, and social anxiety that comes along with meeting new people in our current day and age. I truly understand. I do. I get it. It does suck. But please know this. This does not change the fact that if you want to play this game and you want to try to enjoy what this game has to fully offer, at some point, you're probably going to have to play with other people and probably for long periods of time. If you want to know more on why I think people will play Ashes of Creation alone, check out that video right there. One of the reasons you should be part of a community in Ashes of Creation is simple. So you can get the content done. How many times have you gone to run an activity with strangers only to get kicked from the group, get made fun of, or you just didn't have enough people? Being part of a community at the start of it kills almost all of these things immediately. This is going to allow you to get the content done in a much more effective way, whether you want to learn or you want to teach the content. And on top of that, you'll already be playing with people that you enjoy spending your time with. Weekly raids, dungeons, other open world content, traveling with high valued goods, a lot of this stuff will be made easier with a solid community. Have you ever heard of the saying, it takes a village to raise a child? That literally applies to everything in MMOs because you literally cannot do most of the content alone. You can be the best player in your raid group, but if those other 19 or 39 or X amount of players don't know what they're doing, you're going to fail right along with them. This is something that really sticks out to me because there are a lot of systems and ashes of creation that take a lot of people to operate. The one that sticks out to me the most would of course be the node system. This goes back to it taking a village or a community. Now you can find a community once the game comes out. That's not a problem. But by then, usually, it's too late. You gotta start looking now. Something I think that is super cool that YouTubers and streamers do is when they use their communities in a way that helps everyone. For example, let's say I, the YouTuber slash streamer, want to become mayor, and you, the viewer of said YouTuber slash streamer, want to be a part of what I'm doing because you know that I'm going to do my best to make sure that we are operating functionally. So to simplify it, it's having a community as a YouTuber or streamer, bringing that community to the Ashes of Creation community, and then in game, having a community surrounding your node. I think it's the coolest thing ever because through that, we're all a part of something. And if we're all doing our jobs properly, we can't fail. If you're not already part of some type of community, this can be hard to find in the MMO scene. I was watching Asmongo talk about this upcoming MMORPG called Pax Day, and there's a feature in the game that allows you to just build out in the open. This could be a small hut to a castle, and he said he wanted to get together with his viewers and build up a big base or some sort of utopia. I'm paraphrasing by the way. How wild is that? When you're part of a community, so many things can get done, which is a reason to consider joining one. Speaking of PAX Day, I'll be at PAX East later this month. Of course, I'm going to be looking for some cool upcoming games, making some memories with the homies, and looking for some new people to meet. So if you're there, I'll be there. Come find me. Getting harder content done easier, creating a safe and productive environment for your node, and through that, building up your community that's going to help everyone at the end of the day. I understand you've been hurt. People are mean. You want to play alone. But please, please, please consider joining a community so that you may experience the fullness of this game. How many people have you run into in past video games where they haven't done certain pieces of content because they don't have the manpower for it? I was one of those people, still am kinda, so I get it. So I'm thinking about starting a guild. I'm gonna be playing Ashes of Creation all the time anyway, and I'm really big on community as it stands. So. 
for the people who enjoy what I do and want to be a part of that, there will be a place for you. I also really want to be able to help a lot of people in the Ashes of Creation community because we all know that not everyone is going to be able to explore everything Vera has to offer. There are people who are in guilds who still play alone. I always want to be able to do my part for the community because I believe it's a lifelong game and I want it to last. So if that's something that does interest you, hop on in my Discord as we wait for Ashes of Creation together. What are your thoughts on going into Ashes of Creation with or without a community? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't signed up yet to make an Ashes of Creation account, feel free to use my referral code in the description below. Also, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Follow me on Twitch. I stream the monthly development updates and I'll be streaming Alpha 2 a ton once it's released. Hey, here's to our future clan, all right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.